Hey guys, how's it going? So, the reason why this video looks very different to my normal videos is because I finally have a screen recorder, and I think this is actually really cool. Um, but, anyway, I'm here to react to a video that is completely incorrect. Now, I've actually um, talked about this guy in a previous video, and uh, if you want to go check that out, you can. But, I'm just doing this video to point out where he's wrong, and believe me, he is wrong on a lot of this video. But this isn't to, you know, boost my ego. This is just to just kind of um, point out where he's wrong, just kind of like get him to think. And, you know, either he's confused about this or he's intentionally deceiving people. Um, but anyway, let's play the video. This sermon is entitled, Ray Comfort is going to split hell wide open. I'd like to open up with prayer, and then with a few verses, all right, dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners, I ask all this in Jesus' name, amen. Psalm 120 reads, In my distress I cried unto the Lord, and he heard me, Deliver my soul, O Lord, from lying lips, and from a deceitful tongue. What shall be given unto thee, or what shall be done unto thee, Thou false tongue. Before I say any, anything about Ray Comfort, or better known as Ray Discomfort, I'd like to play this sound clip to, so everyone can see what he actually believes. So here goes. There are two things you have to do to be saved. You must repent. Not just ask Jesus into your heart, but turn from all sin. No more lying, stealing, blasphemy. No more lust. Turn from all sin and live in holiness. Okay, according to this, Ray Comfort thinks there's multiple ways to heaven. He said... Um, no, he didn't say there are two ways to heaven. He said there are two things you need to do to be saved. Two in line with the one way. Seriously, dude. Are you intentionally trying to deceive people? I mean, he clearly said it out. Like, there are two things that you need to do to be saved. And they are part of the one thing. Repent and trust in Jesus. Those are part of the one way. I don't, I don't really think he's confused. I think that he's outwardly deceiving people. And this is pretty dangerous, but let's continue the clip. There's two things you have to do, and anyone who believes that is unsaved. Ray Comfort is an unsaved, stupid devil. No, he's, he's not. He's a false prophet. He's on his way to hell. He's going to split hell wide open. He's a stupid, unsaved bastard. The Bible makes it very clear that there's only one thing you have to do to be saved. The question is asked in Acts chapter 16, what must I do to be saved? And in verse 31, it says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Um, no, it says that you have to trust Jesus and repent of all your sin. It says that there is one way to heaven, and that is through Jesus, through what he did for you. Yes, there is one thing you have to do, but you have to do those two things in order to serve Jesus. You have to do those two things in order to work in the Holy Spirit. Two things that you clearly are against. But Ray Comfort is not saved. Ray Comfort's a false prophet straight out of hell. Ray Comfort's going to hell. Ray Comfort's an unsaved bastard. And we see a verse that describes him to a T. You're deceived, in brother. Proverbs chapter number 14, it reads in verse 25, A true witness delivereth souls. Now this stupid way of the master, or better known as way of the bastard, these people are notorious for going out in the streets and supposedly witnessing to people. But see, they're not saved. If they were saved... Okay, if they're not saved, then why does their ministry work? Why does it change lives? Answer me that. That's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to go out into all the world and preach the good news, which is what Ray Comfort and Kirk Cameron are doing. That is the way of the master. You don't want to hear what he has to say because you clearly are convicted by it, but you're in a sinful state and you don't want to change. You would rather just believe that you're forgiven no matter what. Because you want to hold on to your sin. You want to stay in the state you are. You are unwilling to change. You are unwilling 
to do what it takes to serve Jesus because you would rather stay in comfortable Christianity than actually serving Jesus and actually winning souls to heaven. If they would have the Holy Spirit inside of them, they'd be preaching the correct gospel. And they are. True witness delivereth souls. But see, Ray Comfort and Kirk Dameron, or, you know, jerk. Okay. First off, stop with the puns. Secondly, hey guys, so we're back at part two. I'm sorry for the wait. Let's play the club. Or, you know, jerk Cameron. These people are de they're deceivers, they're liars, they're devils. And the latter part of the verse reads, But a deceitful witness speaketh lies. And that's all these people are. That's all Ray Comfort is, is a liar, a deceiver, an antichrist, a devil, a reprobate, a hellbound, stupid bastard who's going to split hell wide open. That's all I have. Okay. If he is a deceiver, like you're saying, then why is he telling people to get right with God? That's not something a deceiver would do. That's something that a true messenger who has the Holy Spirit inside of him would do. Now what you teach, that's more like a deceiver. You're just bashing him because you're convicted by him. You know that you're in a state of sin and you don't want to change. People are not deceivers. They're, they are teaching the correct gospel, but you just don't want to hear it. All right, let's play the clip. Let me go ahead and close in prayer. Dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners, I ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Stupid, unsaved, bastard fools that teach that it is like this stupid Ray Comfort devil. He's going to split hell wide open. Because that's his main message. Repent of your sins. You better turn from your sins. Stupid unsaved devil. Okay. Now. And, and warning people and saying, look, this guy is a false teacher. He's preaching lies. And Guys, this is the attitude of somebody that is defending themselves to no end against somebody that is actually working for the Holy Spirit. Don't listen to this guy. He is clearly convicted, and he hates anybody that's really doing the work of the Holy Spirit. He would rather just stay in comfortable sin instead of actually branching out and doing what the Holy Spirit wants him to do. Don't take what he's saying seriously. He's only trying to deceive you. He wants as many people damned to hell with him. I, I really hope that you get your heart right, Jack Smack, because this man is doing the work of the Holy Spirit. It says in the Bible that many will be persecuted for doing the work of the Holy Spirit, and that's what's happening right now. Ray Comfort is being persecuted by this dude that is in a sinful state, and he doesn't want to change simply because he's hearing the message that he needs to hear, but he doesn't want to hear it. It doesn't matter if you don't want to hear it. It's what you need to hear. You need to wake up. Because if you don't, you're going to be sorry when Judgment Day comes around. It's going to be brought to you. Let's continue the clip. He's preaching lies, and, you know, let him be accursed. I've delivered him unto Satan. You know, they made learn not to blaspheme. And one of the biggest false prophets that has deceived many, many people for decades now is Ray Comfort. Yeah. And Ray Comfort is a horrible false teacher. And don't tell me, oh, he's a brother in Christ. He's a little mixed up. No, he's not a little mixed up. He's preaching lies. Hey, guys, quick video exposed. Okay, what lies is he teaching? Go to the Bible and see if what he is teaching is false. I know it's not false, but I want you to see for yourself. Don't take this guy's word for it. Go to the Bible and see if what he's teaching is false. It's the word against your word, Jack Smack. This guy isn't giving any clear reasons for 
why Ray Comfort, in his opinion, is teaching lies, because he isn't. He's just defending his sin. He's just trying to bash somebody that's actually doing the work of the Holy Spirit. And he's going to be sorry one day. So don't listen to his videos. Don't take what he says to heart. I'm going to finish this clip. This little devil, Ray Comfort, and his false gospel that he preaches. Now, I stumbled across this clip about a week ago, and I remember it just enraging me. And part of the reason why was that the young lady that this man was misleading seemed extremely receptive. She seemed like she would get saved if she had a prophet of the Lord besides this little devil, Ray Comfort. The great um, give me a reason why I should believe that he is what you say he is. Because he isn't. What he's teaching is true. It's harsh. I hate hearing this message, but I have to hear it. Because I have to get right. And you need to get right too. The Bible says that we are not of the world, that we are born of the Holy Spirit when we are born again. And... You know, I know that that's hard to hear because we, we want to do things in our flesh, but we can't because we are supposed to be winning souls to heaven. I mean, what's the point of, you know, believing that we are saved and going to heaven if we're just going to go back to the world? There needs to be change. There needs to be a move inside of you. You're supposed to be an ambassador of heaven. You cannot love the world and the Holy Spirit. You have to choose one or the other. It's hard, I know. Believe me, I know it's hard. But what this guy is teaching is true. Ray Comfort is teaching the correct gospel. But this guy, Jack Smack 77 he's against it. Because he would rather just stay in his sin. And I know that you guys are probably going to come against me. And you know what? It's your choice. You can either listen to somebody that is comfortable in their sin. And what he is teaching will lead you to damnation. It's funny what he's saying about Ray Comfort is actually what he is doing. Because he is the one deceiving people. He is the one teaching the false gospel, Jack Smack 77. And Ray Comfort is the one that is teaching the true gospel. And one day, you that listen to Jack Smack 77's so-called gospel are going to regret it because that is a damnable gospel. It is the false one. It's crap that false teachers like warning the people teach. You really need to get your heart right. I'm about to end the clip. There are literally hundreds of Bible verses that just say, believe. Okay? Believe and you will be saved. You can look up, you know, we have them on our website, over a hundred Bible verses that just talk about faith alone for salvation. But Okay. But when you believe in Jesus Christ, you'll want to do things that he wants you to do. That, you know, you want to please him. And, you know, anybody that has encountered the Holy Spirit doesn't want to go back to sin. I mean, look at Saul. He encountered Jesus. And he was changed. And he was a Christian murderer. He thought that what he was doing was right. But... Jesus knocked him on his butt, and he turned around. So, yes, I need, I know what you're saying. You know, believe and trust in Jesus Christ, and you will be saved. I know what you're saying. It is in the Bible, but you're misunderstanding what it's saying. It says that we must walk in faith with Jesus Christ. We are supposed to be changed. We are supposed to walk 
in the purity of Jesus. We're not supposed to be, you know, like... We aren't supposed to beat ourselves over the head with, you know, I can't uh, do as much as Jesus does. But we are supposed to try to get... We are supposed to imitate the love of Christ. That's how people know that we are genuine about what we believe. And this guy, Ray Comfort, is. He's doing a good job. He's doing what he's supposed to do. And again, JackSmack77 or whoever's talking in this video is against that. And he doesn't want to hear it. And if he doesn't want to hear it, then I don't know if there's any hope for him. I mean, I might be wrong, but don't listen to him. Do not listen to Jack Smack. Listen to Ray Comfort. He's teaching a harsh word. But guess what? We need it. We need it. We need it to soften our hearts, to humble ourselves. And the Bible says, if my people humble themselves, turn away from their sin, I will forgive them and heal their land. It's in the Bible. Go read it for yourself. Preachers like Ray Discomfort and John MacArthur will say that you have to repent. Repent of your sins. Ray Comfort or Kirk Cameron or his little, his little Batman and Robin little sidekick who preached this false gospel, this garbage. Well, my hope is that people that listen this is Ray Comfort. You better turn from your sins. Use God's name as a password. I'm a lying, thieving, adulterer at heart, stupid, unsaved bastard. You're a fool. I'm just going to say it. Jack Smack 77 is a fool. And if any of you listen to him or actually believe what he's saying, then you're fools too. I'm sorry. I know that's harsh, but you need to hear it. Maybe it'll actually get you guys to think. Everyone needs to think. So, I'm ending this off. Ray Comfort is nothing this guy says he is. He's not unsaved. He's not going to hell. He's doing what he's supposed to do. Don't listen to JackSmack77. Jack Smack 77, everything that he said is a lie. And it, funny enough, he's accusing Ray Comfort of what he, Jack Smack 77 himself is doing. So, don't listen to a faulty word that Jack Smack is preaching. Listen to Ray Comfort. Ray Comfort knows what he's teaching, it's effective. And. What Ray Comfort is teaching is the gospel that's going to save souls for eternity. Ray Comfort's actually winning souls to heaven. So, just real quick, uh, the reason why this video was in multiple parts is because my video recorder kept cutting out. Um, I'm sorry, guys. But please take what I've said to heart. Think about what I've said. And I'll see you guys later. Take care.